On April 14, 1865, at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C., actor John Wilkes Booth snuck into the theater, went up the stairs, and assassinated Abraham Lincoln. God damn it, I will join the Confederacy. I cannot sit idly by while good men give their lives for their rights. You will not. You will not go down there to get yourself killed. This is not your fight. It's between Lincoln and the South. Do not throw yourself into this. You don't have my blessing or your father's blessing, and that is vital. I will fight for what I know is right, regardless of what you say. And I will be damned if I don't fight for this. The South is fighting for a just cause, and I know they will need all the help they can get. I know you don't want me to go, Mother. But this is my wish. I know what your wish is, but I cannot accept my son to be another casualty of war. But I raised you to live well and prosper in this country, not to die for it. I don't want you to be another death, another casualty of war that the coroner gets to check off his list. I... I... I won't. I won't go sign up. But if this war comes to us, you can't stop me. You know that, right? I know. So we're all in agreement. Something must be done about Lincoln, or else the war, or else the war is lost. Yeah, John and I have been thinking, and we think it's best that we kidna kidnap him. He stays in the old soldier's home during the summer, and we figured we can smuggle him across the Potomac River into Richmond, Virginia. When we're there, we can hand him over to the Confederates, and John and I think that the Confederates will do a prisoner swap, or maybe even end the war if the president is in their hands. Where is Samuel? I swear he told him to be here tonight. He had to attend to a patient. He told me that he would try to make it, but it was a young boy who came down with a fever. You know how he feels about those cases. All right, we'll go on without him. I've been speaking with Harold. We both think it would be best to kill Lincoln instead of kidnapping him. We can all see this war is not going well. And at this rate, the North, North will win by the end of the year. Killing Lincoln will put the North into a chaos that would give the South the advantage we need. Think about it. Lincoln is pretty much the reason for this whole war with his Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th Amendment. And all the other fodder. He has just been pushing for this war. We have got to cut off the head of the snake to kill it. Lincoln is the head. And with him gone, the South can gain victory. Mr. President! I can't leave you alone tonight. John, don't worry about it. I'll be fine. There's plenty of people here, and there's... You've already made sure that there's nobody suspicious here. Go out and enjoy the end of the war. I... All right, Mr. President. Have a good night. <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. President. So, uh, who did you say this friend was again? What? What friend? You said you had a friend that'd be willing to hide us in his farmhouse. Oh, no, I just said that to tell Jones, like, in case he thought anybody helped us and was gonna snitch on us. So what's the plan then, genius? Uh, I think we actually see if we can find a farmhouse and hide in that. Oh, okay.
Spur of the moment. I pulled the trigger, having nowhere to run, I leaped over the balcony onto the stage. Six Semper Tyrannus, I yelled as I leaped across. Unfortunately, when I landed, I broke my leg. The audience were fools. They thought it was part of the show. Her screaming gave me away. I hobbled off stage and into the night. That's. That's crazy. She must have had a delayed reaction. I stabbed the officer and pulled my gun before anybody had a chance to react. You stabbed so you stabbed an officer? Did you survive? No, 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 no! No! 